This is Steven. Welcome to Steven's Learning Channel. Today we will be talking about coronary artery disease, aka CAD, and heart attacks. Yes, heart attacks. Okay, so let's get into it. So here I've drawn a heart, and if you're in the medical field and you've seen my video on flow through the heart, then you might be thinking, hey Steven, flow doesn't go like this. It fills up one ventricle, then fills up the next, and then gets pumped out. You'd be right. But this right here, all these little lines are not blood. This, These vessels right here are called coronary arteries and veins. They're the veins and arteries that supply blood to the heart. So we have the heart, it's, it's a muscle, it's pumping 100,000 times a day. What? And so these arteries have to supply blood to the pump, aka the heart. But what? But these arteries, the coronary arteries, can get diseased themselves. And we call this disease coronary artery disease. So let's actually zoom in on one of these coronary arteries. Here you can see a blood vessel and we have cholesterol as I've drawn in green, red blood cells in red, and white blood cells in the blank spots, right here, 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 and here. Now what happens is that Maybe, maybe the wall gets damaged, maybe because of, I don't know, hypertension. So it might look something like that. And this wall right here, it may become stiff. But then the, the cholesterol in green, this cholesterol thinks, hey, this is a pretty nice spot to hang out. So it actually does. And it and it goes here. If it fills in like this, it's not really much of a big problem. Blood can pass through. But over time, over time, and I mean decades, it will end up getting really big. And so white blood cells don't like this. So they'll actually try to get into the site but what happens is that in the process, some white blood cells, they die. So this, this plaque can then build up. And, and this is what we call atherosclerosis. Now, Coronary artery disease. This is coronary artery disease. So it can lead to some problems. For example, this will lead to stable angina. So in stable angina, let's say this is you and you're just lying down. Well, there's not going to be any pain, right? I mean, the body is at rest. So there's not gonna be a lot of blood just trying to rush through. But maybe you're going to be, I don't know, maybe you're in a race and you can't walk in that race. I know it sounds weird, but maybe you have to, maybe you wanna finish first on that race. And so basically you're asking your heart to do more work. You're asking your heart to do more work. And so what will happen is that this will bring on something that's called angina pectoris. And so this basically means angina refers to like a strangling feeling. So it's like a really intense pain and pectoris refers to your chest. So if you put that together, what you get is strangling in your chest, which believe me, I don't ha 
have I've never had a heart attack, but it it's not really good. Trust me, you don't want you don't want you don't want stable angina. Neither will you want unstable angina. So let's say let's say for the sake of this video that this clot gets to this point where it's extremely big and let's say you were running and you were putting intense force what can happen is that this plaque might just rupture and so this causes what we call unstable angina where there can be pain even if you're at rest so you don't have to be running in order to trigger the pain and the reason why is because then this whole clot might end up being something like this where it blocks off the hole and so this and so this can happen even when you're at rest. So that means that there can be pain even when you're at rest. And that's called unstable angina. Finally, we have the last period where things are just not really going good. So say This clot right here, it gets to the point where it just ends up clogging off like almost all of this ve vessel. Let's say it clogs off that much, this much. So blood can still get through, but it's so hard to get through. So let's say we're at the unstable angina stage and you know, we're just kind of resting. Now, so, and this plaque had also a bit ruptured. What? One of two things can happen. The first one is that, wait, let me just, where's my green? Ah, oh, my green, okay. So, this is our clot. And let's just say that lots of red blood cells start depositing on top of it. Well, what happens? Blood now can't get past. So, all these cardiomyocytes that I've drawn, they start to like die off. Like their membranes will start to degrade and yeah, things are just not going good for them. So, now that this is, or maybe in a lower downstream part, the whole thing can rupture, and let's say this is another vessel, and let's say this was the big one, it can actually start to, start to clot that. So now, let's say this heart muscle right here, it will also die. So I have this heart muscle and it will also begin to degrade. So we blocked off oxygen supply and so now these cells are gonna start dying. So there's a clot in this area and now we're just gonna all of this tissue right here is gonna die so it's just gonna rest in peace and I just want to clear up one thing right here there are two main types of a heart attack so I'll actually draw out a cross section of this heart. So let's say we were to look at it. So right here, we 
blown it up. So there's one that's called, let me just erase this here. There's one that's called a full sickness in, infarct. And I forgot to mention that in the medical field, we mention heart attacks as myocardial infarcts. So the first one is a full sickness infarct. So let's say I have like a, a vessel right there and, and a clot develops upstream and it blocks out the whole entire supply. Then this is going to be a full thickness infarct. All of this right here is going to be is going to die, but let's say it's on this is a blood vessel and it kind of penetrates the muscle wall. Let's say we get a clot, I don't know, right here. Well, only a small part of tissue is going to die. This. So just a quick, and this is called a partial thickness infarct. So just a quick recap. Coronary artery disease is a disease where the coronary arteries of the heart are clogged. This can lead to stable angina and unstable angina, and finally a heart attack, which is where blood supply is blocked off to a certain part of heart tissue. And there are two main types of myocardial infarcts, a full sickness infarct and a partial sickness infarct. This is a presentation for coronary artery disease, aka CAD again, and heart attacks. Peace out.